You are a universe the 50% of you never met before. There is a community of 38 trillion microorganisms, mostly bacteria, living in and on your body. The majority of them reside in your gastrointestinal tract, but many others live in diverse places like your mouth, your skin, and your armpits. They represent 50% of you by cell count. Collectively, the genes harbored in these trillions of microbial cells constitute your microbiome. Whether we want it or not, the bacteria live inside us. We inherit them from our mothers when we are born. But not all of the bacteria are really bad. This is one of the biggest misconceptions. The bacteria are of the old species, the living creatures inhabiting the planet Earth. And most of the bacteria, most of the microbes, just like different patterns in nature, are trying to live in symbiosis with their hosts. Think about that. Another another hand why would the some bacteria would want to um any anyhow harm its host that would mean that it would have nowhere to live right the first microbes colonize your gastrointestinal system and form the foundation of uh, your immune system serving as instructors of what's dangerous and what's not By the first few years of life, they stabilize into what is called a steady state microbiome, resembling more or less what you have today. But yes, there are a few bacteria that we call pathogens. And some bacteria want to kill you because life is not perfect and perfection does not exist. The harmful bacteria pathogens that uh, they are in our bodies anyway. The real problem is, and the, the, the trouble is caused when uh, when we do not have a strong immune system that regulates their occurrence in our bodies. The problem only comes when our Im- immune system is weakened by different factors. Where one of the most acute is the so-called civilization factor where immunodeficiencies are created by stress for instance. Well here comes the metaphor, the simile, a little bit with people. The pathogens in the small in the small groups are not so harmful, but uh, really the problem comes when there are too many. This this is a little bit similar to people isn't it we are too many seven billion on planet earth and here here come the problems if we were just one billion that even with the, the standard of producing carbon dioxide and different emissions that would be still no such a big deal but now there are too many people on planet earth okay so you don't want a leaky gut and why do you you don't want a leaky gut we don't have our guts just to digest food it's an, an indispensable part of our immune system. Everything, everything that we eat goes from our digestive system through the blood and back to our guts. Our guts have regulatory and filtration functions. One of the main functions of uh, our guts is to detoxify the remaining compounds such as toxic leftovers from bacteria destroyed by our immune system. Our immune system destroys the bacteria but some toxic compounds remain. That's that's the, also the goal of the gut to filtrate and detoxify these chemicals that would pollute the body. There are other functions of the gut including the production of so-called in- internal skin, uh, triglycerides and etc. Um, yeah, so think of, you can think of also of your guts as a skin, it's covering our bodies from the world with billions and billions of pathogens that are around, they, they would love to attack the living code we are made of. Skin is like the first layer of protection, but no matter what we do, pathogens will get inside, it's our guts that are responsible for 80% of our immunity. Imagine your guts being a huge ground, like the size of a tennis court, covered with immune cells that fight pathogens. So you don't want a leaky gut just like you don't want your skin to have wounds that get infected.
expected and say to nasty invi invaders that you are welcome. You don't want a leaky gut that is getting toxins into the blood. And uh, this, is, this, this, is, this is basically it. Our guts have uh, also different kind of functions that are exciting. For instance, one of the... Uh, that is research right now, the second brain, entering nervous system, the regulation of mood, but that's the topic itself. One of the most uh, fascinating things of evolution that our bodies have made allies with the good bacterias. These are allies, um, these are bacterias that are not doing us any harm, rather they help us against the bad guys. It's a one-win situation, the good bacteria are getting the environment they need for life and they guarantee us they won't behave like they own, they like they own the space, you know, and decide to destroy it one day. And uh, basically how it works, it is that when the good bacteria is already sitting there on the inside, then, then the, the spot is taken and uh, no pathogen can take it. That's, that's what it is. But let us go further and let's talk a little bit about the probiotics because they are big hype. And uh, one of one of the big deal around probiotics is that they they help the leaky gut or they have specific functions, especially here in our uh, intestines. But yeah, but. It's not not so easy with it because with the whole guts colonization, it's it's a bit tricky. Like, do we know for certain that ingested probiotics do colonize tissues in our bodies? This is a common misconception that probiotics must colonize, yeah, or alter the composition of your microbe to to work. It's not necessarily true. In fact, outside of other specific cases like fecal transplants, there is little evidence that probiotics colonize or that they need to, compared to the tens of trillions of microbes already rooted in your gastrointestinal tract. Most prob probiotics don't contain enough new bacteria to make a significant difference in the composition of your microbiota. But uh, they do not need to, actually. We have enough evidence that uh, probiotics travel through our GI tract, interacting with your immune cells, dendritic cells, gut cells, dietary nutrients, and existing bacteria to directly and indirectly deliver benefits. And let us talk a little bit about uh, benefits of probiotics. Here we go. So, it's not only about this leaky gut thing, but in fact, probiotics support the secretion of intestinal mucus and collaborate closely with your gut's gatekeepers, tight junctions, to modulate what should, uh, what should nutrients or sh shouldn't ingest undigested food particles or pathogenic bacteria pass through the body, through your body. But this is not the only thing. Certain bacteria even produce neurotransmitters that stimulate muscle contractions and they are making it easier to poop. When we eat certain microbial genes code for enzymes that break down food we otherwise couldn't, couldn't digest, think of complex carbohydrates like fiber. Bacteria also produce byproduct short-chain fatty acids like butyrate, Butyrate is a powerful agent in reducing inflammation. It has a strong anti-inflammatory properties. That means that it reduces oxidative stress caused by environmental and nutrition factors. And also manages the production of regulatory T cells, the ones that help your body distinguish between itself and uh, an intruder, the pathogenic agents. Beyond this, bacteria also synthesize uh, essential vitamins B and, and K defend against E. coli and other intruders in the urogenital tract and for women balance pH and protect from unwanted yeast and vaginal biome. Their health is critical to the health of our entire body from heart to skin to metabolism to gut immune function. 
Scientists are constantly discovering new associations also between our microbiome and our health. New findings about the gut-brain axis are emerging which indicate that our gut flora may even impact our mood, appetite, behavior and circadian rhythm. Functions we thought were um, not or were solely meant for uh, functioning of the brain. Okay, so let us talk about how to pick wisely your probiotics. As uh, you can see, you've, you've seen the, the, the brand that we are supporting, Seed, because we love those guys, uh, because they truly do very proper scientific work and you know what you're getting with them. You don't have to pick them, but you have a guarantee that these guys do their homeworks, but Maybe there are some patterns that you should look around to probiotics when you decide to take them. Alright, so what to look for in your probiotics? And let's start rather scarily. What are the probiotics anyway? Because there's a lot of echo and misinterpretation. Well, the official definition of probiotics that came from uh, WHO, World Health Organization, is that there are live, uh, live microorganisms which, when administered in adequate amounts, come for health benefits on a host. So, if we look at it uh, more deeper, it is, of course, that uh, in order to get any benefits from the administered nutrient, the substance has to be living. That's, that's the life microorganisms you're taking something in that's 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 got life by 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 some definitions and uh, that that means that uh, the probiotics first of all they have to survive through many stages of digestion and trust us that's not easy just just think about how deadly is the acidic acidic stomach acid and um, most of all they have to get in the colon where they are most active and uh, this is this is not an easy path uh, this is this, this has many stages uh, that uh, microorganisms have to go through and it's not not very easy to survive so maybe you're asking why I just can eat kombucha and some different foods that are containing this microorganisms well you can and you should they are perfect uh, they're tasty uh, you can eat kombucha yogurts kefir and all these kinds of great great uh, foods like sauerkraut but uh, if this is by definition a good probiotic not not, not, not as much because because the proper administration is science and there are not a lot of st studies concerning this uh, this foods that are containing this living microorganisms that confer some health benefits on a host and um, the things that you should be asking yourself is that uh, you know the, the, those foods containing bacteria um, do you know what kind of strains they have inside inside and what what kind of strains of probiotics got got kombucha or yogurts in it you know, what quantities what what bacterias are you ingesting they're going inside your uh, body and do you have a guarantee that they come for health benefits and that uh, they survive this acidic journey through your digestive system and land in your colon where they where these strains properly studied in, in those quantities to actually do something in your body you know this this is a kind of kind of questions that you rather ask on scientists in labs rather than in supermarkets so that's that's probably the, the biggest reason why personally I would go for probiotics that were there are studies with clinical studies and also they have specific strains that were lab te laboratory tested you know that's 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 the biggest difference um, uh, between that and uh, and and uh, having probiotics just from a supermarket this is of course not to say that you should not eat the the you know fermented drinks and, and kombucha and and, and that kind of kind of stuff 
but uh, you know just to be aware because right now everything is with CFUs with with with, uh, with a lot of probiotics in it, yogurts and stuff. And sometimes you might be buying, you know, yogurt in a supermarket. That wow, you're doing something great for my health, and uh, you're actually not doing much in terms of, you know, getting microorganisms that confer some some health benefits on you, and you're just getting some sh good old-fashioned sugar, you know. So, uh, so yeah, this is this is the stuff. Uh, uh, these guys, it's bulletproof that they are doing their homework. They're doing it, doing it right. They're making. They have clinical studies. They take specific strains, and they, you know, they they have some consciousness there. They they take care of the planet. It's gonna. Uh, they're gonna get your um, probiotics in a glass jar, and um, you know, fully, fully aware of that, of that oneness of the universe. What, what would we all, all uh, that we are all part of the one and the nature. And these are the guys you can trust. So I don't know. You can, you can definitely check them out. And uh, if it's work, working great for you, then, then uh, this is something definitely that can benefit you at all. So. Uh, thanks for watching guys and uh, like always NX is there for for uh, pumping the inexhaustible life we have and subscribe to our channel and we'll be always um, delivering the, the content and, and everything that can you know build a little bit a little bit better life so subscribe and 